What's up, everybody, and welcome to The Scoop with Coop. I'm Coop. How y'all doing out there? The dog. Okay. So, excuse the background noise and the sound effects because the dogs want to play when I record. But, that's alright because I'm about to review, review, review Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. The wretchedness is back. Yes! Woo! Hallelujah! <laughs> but anyway, so, let's just get right on into it. So, the show starts off. Mimi is in the shower. She got water glistening all over her body. And she finished taking a the shower. Then she goes to put her makeup on. Then she goes in the room and Eva is sitting on the bed. Then she sits on the bed. Then boom! Who they show? Stevie J. Lord, the wretchedness starts from the beginning. So, she went, she stayed at Stevie J's house. So, Stevie J got a house now. He's not staying with Benzino no more. So, she went to pick up Eva because Stevie J's sister keeps her while she is at work or travel or whatever. So it was late. She wasn't there. So she stayed. 20 minutes later, him and Rosalina comes in. Oh, I'm trying. Doggy. Hello. Hey. Iggy. Iggy, come here. Come here. Okay, stay right there. So, Jocelyn comes in. Uh, Stevie J and Jocelyn come in. And so, an argument, of course. She like, what's she doing in my bed? And so, she had to leave. Uh, Jocelyn, Rosalina had to leave. And so, you know, Jocelyn, not Jocelyn. Mimi was like, you know, I want... I don't want her around my daughter. She said, uh, Eva doesn't matter. I don't want her around my daughter. So if I have to stay here so she won't be around my daughter, I will. He was, <sighs> he was like, okay. So now she's living with Stevie, Stevie. Okay, so then uh, that was that. She, I feel like she is using this child as a crutch like she did last season. Of course, yes, you have a child with this man. Of course, you want to be a family because you didn't really have a family, Mimi. But sometimes you just got to let it go. Let it go. Okay. So then, it goes to Erica and Scrappy. So, Erica and Scrappy is back together. I mean, they're living back together because they're engaged now. And we're going to talk about this ring later. So, um... They're engaged now, and she was like, you know, we got to start saving for this wedding so you can't be spending like you used to. So she was like, let's be on a budget. You can ball on a budget. He wants to spend $1,500 to $2,000 a month on shopping. Boo-boo, no. Okay, if you want a nice wedding, I mean, you could, you could have a wedding on a budget as well, but... When is Scrappy still making that much a month? Maybe, maybe from last season. Okay, so he got you know some more fans. I mean, I've I've been a Scrappy fan since he came out with OKKK, OK, OK, OK. but I didn't know he was you know still doing it like that. So go ahead, Scrappy. Um, but yes, yeah, she said you know we need to be on a budget. We have to save for this wedding. So that was that. So then Stevie J goes to while Jocelyn is practicing her move. Pala, 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 pa. Practicing her moves for her show or whatever. He comes in and tries to regulate. And by her saying something about Eva. But she put a stop to that real quick. Like, boop. My phone would ring. Ugh. All right. So, <laughs> Shay asked Mama D, did she know about the engagement? She's like, no, I feel be felt betrayed. Why is she feeling betrayed about what who her son is? you know, proposing to, like, she was in a relationship with him, you know, Mama D, but, you know, Shay, you know, she's still hurt, she still feel like, you know, she wants to talk to him and see what's going on, so that was that, so anyway, so then, here comes K. Michelle, everyone knows K. Michelle is a hothead, but now, she has a recording contract with Warner Brothers, and her A&R person 
you know, she wants to name her record. Um, oh, what did she say the name of it was going to be? I forgot. But um, he was like, you know, you have a bad rep. You know, you have a, you know, people know you for having a bad attitude. So we need to change that. She was like, I know, I know. But, you know, my, I'm here for my fans. They want to hear me speak. Yada, yada, yada. You guys, I'm so sorry for this noise. But anyway, that was that way. Um, K. Michelle. Then Erica meets with her mom to go to get her ring appraised. And, you know, her mom was like, you know, I believe it when I see it for the wedding. That's what she was trying to say, but she didn't really say it. She was like, I believe it when I see it. And if you're happy, I'm happy. Which, you know, if a mom, you know, she, she's supporting her daughter, even though she don't agree with it. So then the man comes back to uh, tell her how much the ring costs or appraise for it. And surprisingly, it was worth $21,000. I don't know. I just, I didn't, I didn't think it was going to be that much, but Scrappy, you did that. He said it was like 18 carats or something like that. Go ahead, Scrappy. I didn't know you had it in you. But anyway, next was Benzino and Jocelyn. I didn't know Benzino did a late night show on V103 because I listen to V103 sometimes and maybe it's on real late when I'm like home or out somewhere. But anyway, he did, you know, him and Jocelyn was talking and she was like, um, you know, her and Stevie, they couldn't mix business with pleasure, which we all know they still together if you follow them on Instagram and stuff like that. And um, she was like, you know, she's single, ready to mingle. She's single and ready to mingle. And yeah, that was, that was that. So Erica and K. Michelle meet. And you know she want to celebrate, you know, her being with one of bro one of brothers, and she want to and K Michelle want to celebrate Erica uh, engagement. So she wants to throw Erica an engagement party, but the engagement party is only like four people. It's Mimi, Ariane, K Michelle, and Erica. She don't want her to invite Rashida because we all know Rashida and K Michelle clash heads from last season at the end. So, um, she was mad, K. Michelle is mad at Arian for having relations with her ex-boyfriend. I don't know if she's talking about Memphis, Hits, or somebody else. But she's mad because she thinks Arian is supposed to, well, should have told her that she had sex with him. Um, I don't know about that. But, I mean, even her, her and Arian is not like, her, like Arian to meet me like this. But, uh. I don't know about that. I, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, so Stevie wants to, you know, put Jocelyn back in check, so to speak. So he bought, buys her a fura. That's how Jocelyn said, a fura. So you think you could just bring me a fura and everything's supposed to be good? <laughs> okay, Jocelyn, get your fura. Get your fura. Like, get your life, get your fur up. And, um, like I said, the engagement party was just those four. Arian and K. Michelle made up because uh, Arian was like, I apologize, what what mode do you want me to say? What? Okay. So she, they made up, kissed and made up. They were literally kissed and made up. So that was that. Um, I think K. Michelle knows who to go after like that because she went after Arian and Arian gave it back to her and it was shut down. So then, uh, Mama D goes and talks to Scrappy about being back with Shay, and he like, no, I'm not about that life anymore. I'm trying to stay with um, Erica. These dogs. Now they under my little tripod. Go. Sorry, you guys. So it ends with the fiat, with the hilariousness of Stevie, Mimi, and Jocelyn. So Mimi and Stevie are in the house. She's clean in the kitchen. I guess she cooked or whatever. Jocelyn just walked in the house. Well, she was living there, so she just walked in. And she got on this outfit like she just came off the street. <laughs> like she just came off the block. Uh, but anyway, she came in. She had her fur on. And she was about to give Stevie a hug till she saw Jocelyn. And then she was like, uh, don't touch me. And he was like, you're not gonna speak? She was like, hey, maid, I like your maid outfit. Woo! I'm surprised Nene ain't try to put hands on Jocelyn. 
even though Jocelyn might have tapped that. But, um, so she was like, you know, she need to leave, she need to go. They started calling each other names, and she called her Molly the Maid, which I thought was funny. Molly the Maid, and she just kept calling her whores and bees and all this kind of stuff. Then, so Stevie escorted Jocelyn out, put her in the car, go off into the sunset. So when he came back in, he was like, you need to be nice. So he goes in the bathroom where Mimi is, and she just went into a rage like a bull. She uh, she hit him, cause he was like, she was just playing. She, no, Jocelyn was not playing, okay? We all know Jocelyn was not playing. So she hits him, he holds her hand, she Mike Tyson him and bit him in the face. <laughs> she Mike Tyson him, bit him in the face, then security came, Put them apart. She was still going. Just going at him. And then she threw a drink at him in his face. And he was like, oh, he was about to go after. But security was there. He was like, oh, mm, mm. So that was the end of season one. And I have to say, not season one, episode one. I have to say, episode one was better than the whole season of Love and Hip Hop New York. I said that on Twitter last night. And I said that on Facebook. Love and Hip Hop New York was all right. But when you have a season like Love and Hip Hop Atlanta with all the ratchetness and foolery and craziness going on, come on now. You got, they had to top that, which they didn't. They did not in New York. They had their moments, but the first episode is an indication of how the rest of the season goes. And then, yes, it's going to be ratchetness. Every Monday. <laughs> Woo! The wretchedness is back, baby. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for watching. <laughs> please subscribe. Please rate. Please comment. And follow me on Twitter at Scoop with Coop, And Instagram at Scoop with Coop. And I promise, I know I stopped doing Real Housewives of Atlanta when it came on. And I kind of stopped doing the Braxton. Because it come on a Thursday and then I will have to do the review on Friday. Then I, have, I do stuff on Friday sometimes. I'll be... You know, having time to come back and do a review. So, being that Love and Hip Hop is on a Monday, this is a good time. So, I can do the review on Tuesday and upload it and we'll be good to go. But, anyway, thank you for watching. God bless. See you next week.